Oh my god. Catnip is low, catnip is low. What should I do? What should I do? Pause. Who? 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 What can I do? What can I do? Okay. Okay, we, we buy more aqueducts. Aqueducts, go! One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god, I was so scared. I was so scared. Okay, okay. Whew, fine. Fine, yeah. That wasn't a big deal, honestly. <laughs> uh, oh. All right, let's continue waiting. It is ready. Okay, let's check the mines. Yeah, they produce coal. Nice, perfect. Now I have a plus 0.27 coal production. One hour, 23 seconds to cup for now. And if I go to the workshop and check how much it takes to make one steel, well, now it's four minutes and it capped uh, with iron production. That's great, that's great. So this means we can actually start producing steel, more or less, soon. Wow, that was so fast. We can get our first steel now. Amazing. Well, now we have no iron. Now we have steel. What can we do with steel? We can make a steel axe. We can make reinforced warehouses. Well, we cannot make titanium barns because we don't have titanium. Okay, crossbows we can make. We can make steel armor or some even more effectiveness for our hunters. Mm, printing press. I think that's pretty late technology. I mean, it's not late, of course, but it's later than we are right now. So what would be the good next step? Well, right now, my biggest concern is that we have too much science. I mean, again, so it's not a problem per se that we have too much science because science is good, but we cannot use it for anything because science is not available uh, because we don't have enough storage, right? So that's, that's one thing we can tackle. Uh, it's uh, we can do it by buying more of academies. And then the second thing is we can actually reassign one of our scientists to do something more important for the present moment. For example, maybe we want to produce more wood right now. So that's what I wa want to do. So first, go village and then remove one scholar. So now I have a bit more humble production i would say like humble error because it's still quite a lot and then we'll hire this person to cut wood i don't think it's efficient but you know sometimes you just need to get by somehow so cutting wood for now and then we get this uh, kitten back to science you know maybe it's just you know time for them to think about you know scientific questions while cutting wood that that's probably my explanation of why it's not bad. All right, don't judge me. Okay, so we have another woodcutter. Huh? Reasonable improvement. Of course, I don't expect much from that person because, you know, they're, they're scientists, not really a woodcutter. Now, let's see. Hmm, it is interesting. Can I manage jobs now so, like, the situation gets better? Manage jobs. And no, it is not getting any better. It just does something. All right, let's keep looking into it. Maybe at some point it's gonna it's gonna do something. I, I'm really hopeful about it, but for now it's okay. Theo tried his best. I'm not sure he's worth the gold I spent yet. But next thing, I'm going to buy more academies as many as i can let's see how many i can actually afford one two uh, and it's done just just to cheer myself up i'll buy another unicorn pasture i like unicorns well it's not that i don't really sort of like them like you know actively like it's it's not that i'm I'm like, you know, opening pictures of unicorns on the internet. It, it's sort of, I, I like the idea that we have this character in the game, unicorns, which is somewhat a mysterious entity. So we don't really know what they're doing and how they're helping us. 
We know that there is some sort of an effect there, but we are not yet sure how this effect happens. So yeah, that, that's what I like about the unicorns in this game. Hmm. So at this point, uh, there are many things we could develop and it's really, really open. We have no major bottlenecks in our production. So what I would like to have is get a single temple. That's quite possible uh, for now. We just need to make 10 manuscripts. When I say now, I mean in a few time lapses uh, time. I will probably be getting more amphitheaters as well because I really like the production boost that happiness gives us. So let's get another two amphitheaters and see which resource gets capped next. No, it's fine, it's fine. I, I, I just finished. Uh, I just finished recording. It's actually perfect. Should I should I leave it in the in the recording? Do you think? Yeah, that would be a nice touch. <laughs> Homemade cake. Hmm. Can can I? Yeah, I don't think I can add smell to the recording, right? Yeah. Well, it sm smells awesome. Well then, it is time to send another expedition. Good news everyone! I did what every respectable YouTuber does uh, quite often. I forgot to press the record button, which happened to me for the first time of course, because I'm just a beginner, but it's a great opportunity for me to reflect on what has happened. I've discovered a new nation shark, which is not really useful for us because we don't need the catnip in exchange for iron. We need iron. Then I invested a bunch of science into the academies just to have more of uh, storage. And I also chose the liberty policy for us. That's basically it. just uh, five minutes, not much uh, to... See, and let's continue on after grabbing just the tiny trade post. Yeah, very good. Music, please. And yet again, our science is full. So what can I do about it? First idea is to just spend it on academies. That's an alright idea, but I'm thinking that we're only spending 3,000 science, but we also are spending 2,000 minerals. And minerals, actually, we don't, we don't get them so many. I mean, of course, it's, it's quite good, but it's not, it's not uh, just a huge amount of minerals. So, and another thought is that we could potentially spend them better. For example, if I will be investing minerals into workshops, I'll be getting a crafting bonus. And think about it this way. When we craft just, let's say, catnip, we convert it to wood, we get, what is our bonus? 96%, right? So like we get almost twice of uh, what we initially would get. But let's see what do we need to craft parchments. For parchments, we need first, and then these parchments are part of manuscripts. We get twice as much here, but then we also get twice as much here. So basically, it scales. So this bonus go up higher and higher, and then compendiums, we need 50 manuscripts. Then all these bonuses stack. So like even if I get 6%, it is actually a great improvement. So what I would like to do instead of spending all this minerals on buying more academies, I would like to instead unassign our scholar and assign it, for example, to mining, because then we're going to get more minerals and therefore we will be able to afford more workshops and we get a huge benefit out of it. And as soon as I get enough resources to research something here, then I will, of course, just assign the scientists back. So we are not wasting any resources. We have our science cap and it's going to stay this way. So I'm going to buy another workshop. Good. Uh, so it's only 12 minutes until we can have another one, which is really, really good timing. And the next thing, we have a lot of coal. So what I would like to do is to convert all this coal and iron to steel. Now I see another issue here. So 
if we look at the conversion ratio the recipe we spend 100 coal and 100 iron for one steel and we are actually making almost equal amount of coal and iron which means that if we want to spend iron also on something else except steel we're going to be wasting coal and if we're going to be trying not to waste coal we will not be able to invest our iron into something else so that's that's a problem so therefore i would like to try and ramp up the production of iron it means that i need more smelters I can get many smelters right now, but I want to also make sure that we don't lose on the production of minerals and wood. Here, I got two smelters. Now we're making quite a bit more iron than coal. And that's a good proportion, I think, because we're also going to need to spend iron to convert them to plates and on some upgrades potentially. Now I'll buy two lock houses just to have this additional catnip and have two kittens which i can assign to gathering wood and minerals uh, and also because we already have quite a good uh, level of uh, productivity and happiness here and another one so there are two kittens available now and i'm going to assign them to a woodcutter and a miner and I need to be careful here because sometimes even a few kittens can uh, tilt the balance of uh, food production. So I need to watch out for decreasing levels of catnips if I don't want to lose the kittens. By the way, right now they are very, very high. I'm going to get another mine just because I can. And then I'll grab an aqueduct to be on the safe side. And maybe a few pastures because we're growing as a village. Perfect. Now it is a cold winter and I have only 3000 catnip, but my hope is that 15 minutes is enough to survive this winter. Let's see if it is possible. Send hunters again. Grab another aqueduct. Nice. Music, please. And now I'm going to buy a workshop just because I can and also because we need steel now and it makes steel much cheaper. So one workshop. Then I would like to make uh, enough parchments for the temple, right? So right now we need parchments and then we will have to wait another five hours for culture to accumulate and then we can get our first temple which will help uh, in culture production, which will help us get more temples. So let's convert all our first to parchment. Done. And now we only are lacking some culture. I actually think I'm going to convert our culture into manuscripts now because uh, we need 2000 culture and our limit is 1000 so anyway we will have to do it in stages let's go to workshop create the first manuscript well we only have enough for one so yeah it actually created two because of all our workshops now you see how useful they are next i will invest into steel armor you see we only need 0.1 steel to do it so i'll just get one Steel. and we can get steel armor which increases our hunting effectiveness again it's great for the first ivory and overall happiness of the kittens see happiness is still not the best now you can see that gold is getting to this orange zone and it means that soon we will need to invest it into something and since uh, our leader cannot be promoted yet i will be trading and what we need so far is iron and the best uh, way to get a lot of iron is to convert wood into iron and we need 
uh, gold for that. So it's kind of good deal still, um, but I'm probably going to do it during the time lapses because trade depends on the season. So certain civilizations will provide better yield of resources during a particular season. So we can see right now Griffins give us 243 to 278 iron per trade. And the best time to trade with Griffins is autumn. You ask me, how did I find it out? I used the wiki. But also, I remember the first trade I made, it had around 300 iron instead of these numbers. So it is definitely not the best time to do it. So let's see what happens during autumn. It's not too many days to wait anyway. It's very interesting because these numbers here didn't change. Huh. Let me check how much we actually are going to get from this trade. Okay, so you see, we actually got 356.36, while this number said 243 to 274. So it means that these are the base numbers, and based on the season, they can change, and maybe they can even become smaller. I'm not sure, but like, if you trade with Griffins and hoping to get iron, do it during the autumn period. And that's why I'm probably going to do it during time lapse, because uh, I can really do it when the, the, the time is right for that. And that's gonna, going to greatly benefit our trade. So I'm going to do another one, maybe even two. Yeah, that's nice. Now I'll just convert some catnip into wood. Now we have a bunch of minerals and wood left. So what should we do about it? Hmm, I'm curious. Maybe we should buy another workshop. Perfect. They're getting much more expensive now. So there is a limit of how many workshop you can, workshops you can reasonably get at this stage of the game. And I think we're getting closer to it. I don't want to max it out completely because then I'm going to lose on other things. So for now, the remaining resources are probably spent here on, on Academy because I also want to slowly start bumping up the limits of our science because the next science theology which is great for production uh, requires 19k science and we only have 17. all right two academies that's not bad and we have 18 almost enough so really really soon we will have enough science and i think i can reassign a scholar back to work so we will remove one miner and add one scholar it means we will get our science full in three hours that's perfectly acceptable maybe manage jobs yeah now you can see that this button works because now we have reassigned the right kitten who had all the experience there and therefore uh it it has boosted its performance. Finally, Theo, you are useful. After all these years of just wasting my money, you are useful. That's really nice. That's an achievement. Okay, now we have too much iron because of all these trades. Hmm, what should I do with all this iron? Well, first, I'll make more steel. I think I will be making steel as soon as I can because we're gonna need so much of it. And the rest of the iron, well, I guess. So there is enough money for another trade post. Again, the trading uh, ratios and uh, all kinds of demands improve. And that would be a good moment to end this episode. Thank you everyone for watching, for watching on Second Monitor, for watching on your TV, for listening as a podcast, and see you next time. Bye.